Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well and staying warm in this freezing cold weather. Now, over the last wee while, we have learnt about the differences between farmers in Australia and shepherds in the Middle East, where Jesus came from. For me, the big difference was that shepherds know their sheep really well and are able to call each one by name. The thing for us to remember is that God knows us really, really, really well and remembers all our names all the time. Then we learnt about shepherds in the Old Testament. We learnt that there are lots and lots and lots and lots of shepherds in the Old Testament. But we also learnt that God looks after us just like a good shepherd looks after little lambs. So what do you think we should do today? Hmm, what about shepherds in the New Testament? Yeah, let's do that. Our story today is called Shepherds in the New Testament. That's the second bit of the Bible. When Jesus was born, guess who God sent to welcome him into the world? You know the answer to this. Was it a racing car driver? No, it was not a racing car driver. Was baby Jesus welcomed by the beautiful Princess Natasha? No, he was not. Was he welcomed by a crocodile wrestler? No, he was not. You know the answer. Shepherds. God sent shepherds to welcome the baby Jesus. Shepherds were very important because shepherds looked after the sheep and the sheep grew the wool, and woolen socks are made from wool. Woolen socks, woolen hats, woolen coats, and woolen rugs are all made from wool. If there were no shepherds, there would be no sheep for human beings to use. If there were no sheep for human beings to use, there would be no wool. If there was no wool, there would be no woolen socks, no woolen hats, no coats or rugs, it would be very cold, especially in this country. Without shepherds, there would be no sheep milk or sheep cheese. You would think everyone would have loved shepherds and treated them like heroes. But instead, no one trusted the shepherds. If someone stole your racing car, you blamed the shepherds. I don't think anyone had racing cars 2,000 years ago, but if someone stole your horse, you blamed the shepherds. Even if a shepherd saw who stole your racing car or your horse, he could not be a witness in court. No one would trust a shepherd, as the old judge says. I may be wearing a woolly sheep wig on my head, but I will not allow a shepherd to speak in my court. You can't trust a shepherd. If a shepherd invited good people to a party, they would not come. Good people did not, and I mean not, hang around with shepherds. Now, while the good people didn't hang around with shepherds, Jesus liked shepherds. He told stories about shepherds, like the one about the shepherd who looked and looked and looked for the lost sheep. Jesus called himself a shepherd. He said, I am the good shepherd. Jesus called his friends to be shepherds. Feed my sheep, he said to Peter. Peter thought, but I'm a fisherman, not a shepherd. But he learnt to be a really good shepherd. And Jesus never missed a shepherd party. Jesus really liked shepherds. It's funny, isn't it, how there always seem to be people that others look down on, or don't believe, or won't visit, or don't like, or mistrust. In the New Testament, it was the shepherds. Today, as you probably know, is Valentine's Day. It's the day we remember people we love and people who love us. And that's great. It really is. But let's also remember that God's love includes everyone, 
Indeed, God loves everyone just the same and wants everyone to follow Jesus. God doesn't want us to look down on anyone. Okay, happy Valentine's Day. Get ready for our song and I'll say bye for now. Thank